me. Moving to the next phase. Um, Washington. Washington, D.C. But before that, we... Well, when the film was finished, um, it looked good. Uh, and I knew Rog had a really good piece for his uh, showreel. Um, but he and Dave were both thinking... We were saying we should send it to festivals. Yeah. Why not? It turned out to be a great linear story and um, it was ready to go. So was it... Uh, it wasn't really my idea. I think Dave, I had what I wanted, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, and um, well, I think both. I think you were you were keen to, to try that. Oh, out. But was, Dave was yeah. very much like we should put it in festivals, yeah. and I thought to me, Sacrament was a glorified showreel piece. Yeah, it was a really good looking showreel piece, and that's what Rog wanted. Mm. So Rog was happy, I was happy, and then um, they talked about sending it to some festivals, and at that point, I was just like, hey guys, do it. You go do yeah. it. I'm actor and a co-writer. <laughs> you know, my work is done. So you guys, you know, go and yeah. go ahead and do it. And I was, I'll admit, I was skeptical. I didn't, I didn't really see it, you know, getting yeah. any anything big or well. And happening. I didn't have any idea because that was this was the first um, short film that I had produced or written or anything of that yeah. kind of realm. So I had no idea what. Uh, what the standard was of, of short film festivals or anything like that, but you know, I, I was excited and, and told Dave Sander to to go for it, and, mm -hmm. and he did. And we started um, we started ticking them off pretty quickly. That's it. A couple in in Sydney. We started with one in um, where was it? What was the first one we got? Was Calif no, no, no. Well, no California? No, no, California wasn't the first one. Was it the the Screaming Ant? Was Something that like online that. Online film festival. <laughs> That's right. Where you won uh, best actor. No, 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 no. no, no. That no. was that was the that was the. Um, it wasn't the California film. It was the was Perfect the, Spirit Film right. Awards. Mm. It was this online <laughs> festival that no one's ever heard of, and um, it Don't got be so modest. It, get, it got into this festival, and um, we found out. What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So it got into this uh, festival, and we were like, okay, cool, and. Mm. I got a um, I got a text from Rog, I think, and I was at work, and it said, "Check your Facebook." And so I went onto Facebook, and he had tagged me <laughs> a clip, and it said that I had won Best Supporting Actor at the Perfect Spirit Film Awards, which was a surprise to say the <laughs> least. Um, I was like, "Well, what was the competition? Where was I up against?" So, but like, you know, that was that was nice, and then. Um, then we got the California Film Awards. Yes, which we went to in um, in San Diego. That was our first, yeah, our first big sort of piece um, where Dave uh, flew us over. He did at his own expense to LA, and we we drove down to San Diego for the night and um, mm -hmm. attended this festival, which was fantastic. And there was some great caliber of films um, being shown there, mm. and it was really nice, you know, to that kind of work and, and, and take some action and, and start getting recognition yeah. almost instantly. It was a very, a very quick turnaround from, from conception to being in San Diego. It and happened so quickly. Yeah, within a few months. Yeah, that's a couple it. of months. With it, and January? It was in January, end of, in January. end of January. Yeah. And so we'd filmed in September, so really not yeah. that long at all. Wow, it was so quick. Yeah, you know, we had to pitch ourselves a couple of times thinking, we were in San Diego for, for that short film that we just made. Exactly. Yeah, it was it was amazing. And it was good. It was we had a good time over there. We mm. spent like a week over there, yeah. and um, we went down to this festival, which was a nice little formal event, and um, we won the gold award. That's right. Sacrament won the mm. gold award, and we even got uh, uh, trophies and a certificate. Beautiful trophy, yeah. Yeah, that's it <laughs> that they've got hanging up on, <laughs> on his on his uh, shelf there, <laughs> and um, that was really um, that. Yes, yeah, so th that was really nice. Mm. And um, after that was done, um, then I remember I was in the car with Dave, mm. and he said, there's this new festival. It's called the GI Film Festival. And I said, GI, what GI is like general infantry, like soldier. And he said, yeah, it's, a, it's like a military film festival. And I went, do it. Mm. We're probably a shoe in <laughs> Like, we've got, we're a movie about soldiers, so you know, we, pr we probably got a shot. But and it was an American festival. American festival. Where two Aussies playing American. Americans, <laughs> American soldiers. So I don't know. There's a bit of he not yeah. hesitancy, but um, like, uh, will well, they buy it? Yeah. And we filmed it in the backyard of our friend <laughs> in Sydney, and so I'd never heard of this festival, but it had already been running for six years, mm. and it's a military-themed film festival, the only one of its kind. And it runs for seven days. It's a, a pretty a week -long substantial festival. festival. And to be eligible, you have to make a film that 
is military related. Um, you know, it could be a documentary, yeah, feature length film, short film. But as long as it's you know kind of revolves around the military, you're eligible. And uh, so they've sent it off, and they said they loved it and that we got accepted. Mm. And, um, <laughs> and then it was a couple frantic weeks, and uh, we were flying over again to um, right. LA, but this time a little bit further down to Washington DC. That's um, it. It was um, when when we got the festival. I was thinking, God, that would be so great. Yeah. I would love to go to DC. I've always wanted to go to Washington DC. And um, they've uh, said, um, look, one of you has got to go over for it. And I was trying to see if I could scrape up enough money to, to go myself. And I said, well, look, you know, if you're going to, I said, send Rog, uh, because Rog is the star, not only the star of the film, he's the executive producer as well. I mean, he, you know, put money, he put the money into the film, got it, you know, so it should be him. And Rog, you know, said, no, you go. And I was like, no, you go. And then Dave said, all right, both of you can go. <laughs> and I said, what? You actually going to pay for both of us again? And he said, yes, yes, yes. We have to send you over for it. And I said, no, look, man, just, just send Rog, you know, don't. And he goes, no, no, no. It has to be both of mm. you. He insisted. And I was like, Okay, he didn't need much persuading. <laughs> uh, I was like, well, okay, if you're absolutely sure, then no, that's okay. And then before you knew it, we're at the airport again, and yeah. then, boom, <laughs> off to D.C. Mm. And I have to say, I'd always wanted to go to D.C., and to go with Sacrament was just, I couldn't have asked for a better way to go. We're going with a film that's military-related, and we, um, it goes for a week, and we went to a number of events. Yeah, there was screenings. We had a dinner with um, Ross, Perot, Ross Perot, which was fantastic. Um, we got to go to the Pentagon. We had a tour of the Pentagon. Got a, yeah, that you know, amazing. all fantastic things that we... Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill, that we wouldn't have experienced had we not made, you know, taken the initiative and made sacraments. So yeah. it was just uh, win after win after win. And um, to do all those things, yeah, in, in Washington with a film and... and just the way it all happened was was amazing. It was a dream come true, really. To go from Dave's backyard to yeah. D.C., like, there was just those moments where we're like, I can't believe this, we're in D.C. Mm. And then came the night when... Like, um, <laughs> when screening. It our screening. When it screened, and... I was nervous as hell. Yeah. Particularly for the accent. Um, I mean, obviously, if they're going to like it, if they're going to believe it, um, mm. the whole thing that it was shot in a backyard. Mm. And... Uh, it, it started and, I mean, how was the reception? We were a bit uncertain at first, but then we, we went up for a Q&A and um, yeah. just the reception that we got from, from the audience and, you know, the audience was, film, was filled with um, uh, retired soldiers and yeah, veterans, uh, veterans and, and yeah. all sorts of people. Right. And, we, and it was our screening, we screened in a block of seven films. Mm. Yeah. And which is what happens with these big festivals, they, they screen it in blocks mm. and... Um, our, our film screened at the Canadian Embassy. Uh, apparently the Canadian Embassy has a deal with GI Film Festival. They've got a nice little theatre in mm. their embassy. So that was cool. So we got there and yeah. we met some Canadian military guys. Mm. And the Admiral, he was a really nice guy. Yeah. And he, um, you know, we, you always get nervous when your film's going to play. Um, I've been to festivals before where, and before my film's playing, you know, you just get the butterflies, you know, mm. racing. And uh, the film came on and the reaction, they laughed at, all the right bits. That's right. They did yeah. everything that we, we wanted, wanted them to do. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just amazing. And in fact, mm. um, I'd grown, I think I'd grown a little bit of hair here. Um, or maybe, I don't know. It, it, it would be easy to, to not recognize me because I got so much soot on my face in the yeah. film. Yeah. And when the film <laughs> screened and the lights came on, there was a guy <laughs> sitting next to me and I went, I, I knit him <laughs> and, I, and I said, I said, that was good. I like that one. And he went, "Yeah, that was that was good. That was really good." He didn't know. It was me. <laughs> and then uh, when um, the films, uh, the block of films had screened, we came up on the stage for a Q and A with the other filmmakers. Yeah. And um, they had their little bit with the mic, and then uh, Pat Sajak hosted the Q and A. Pat Sajak's, you know, a known game show host and broadcaster mm. in America. And um, he uh, then the mic came over to us and. 
the reaction we got, people like, you know, they said, okay, you guys did Sacrament, and then everyone just like yeah. gave us a big round of applause. And um, we went into how it was filmed, and they loved it. We got some laughs. and We got some laughs with our accent straight off the bat, which... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, people didn't know we were Aussies. Fortunately, they didn't, yeah. <laughs> they didn't know we were Aussies. So, they thought we were real Americans. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then when we got off the stage, the first guy to come up to us, we had people coming up mm. wanting to shake our hands. And the first guy to come up to us was the 101st veteran. That's right. Not from World War II, mm. but he was in that unit. Mm. I think he served in 101st, probably in the 80s or something yeah. like that. And he, mm. he thanked us. He said, thank you so much. And he was wearing his little 101st pin. And um, then an army chaplain came up to us, a retired army chaplain. Dave Scott, I think is his name, but he was a, yeah. he was a chaplain and he, he was just all over us. Yeah, he, he, was loved just, <laughs> yeah, he loved it, you know, um, because it didn't mean to have this real religious angle at the end. In fact, when we wrote it, my character was called Mayberry. That's right. He was just a soldier. Yeah. And it was Dave Sander, and I forgot to mention this before, but it was yeah. Dave goes, okay, so is he um, like a ghost or like a, a guardian angel? We're like, hmm. And then I was like, yes, he should. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, okay, that makes it more interesting, mm. I guess. Um, but, you know, people then started to think that my character was Jesus. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. I had a couple of people yeah. saying, were you, were you Jesus? Like I was the second coming or something? Mm. And I said... I, I just keep it ambiguous. I go, well, you know. Well, it is ambiguous. I mean, yeah, we don't. Right. We didn't write it for any <coughs> particular way. Exactly. Um, and it's a for any, piece. That's right. Yeah. And even with your character, you know, it was left up to the decision of the viewer as to what kind of mm. being, so to speak, um, you were. That's but right. I mean, it's all symbolism, and um, the effect is the same in the end. Mm. Um, yeah, and then we carried on. We had a, we had a kind of. The reception afterwards, the official reception for all the films that were That's in that right. block. And we had all the food there. And I remember mm. how hungry we were because we had <laughs> yeah, eaten that eat. day. <laughs> and we were like just trying to get to the food because they had all these beautiful dishes mm. all laid out. From all around the world, to, I think it from was. From all yeah. around the world. There was an Australian yeah. corner. In fact, there was a, a, a guy there from the Australian embassy there. Mm. And uh, we were trying to get to the food and people kept stopping us and grabbing <laughs> us and telling us how much they yeah. loved the film. And they, they want to buy it, and there's people going, is yeah. it for sale? And, mm. you know, and all this stuff. A lady from a Baptist church in Georgia thought I was from, she thought I was from Georgia. <laughs> I said, well, that's uh, like the ultimate compliment yeah. on an accent there. And uh, but we were just on cloud nine. Mm. We couldn't believe it. it was, that was amazing. Mm. That was just like this little film that we'd shot in a backyard, literally a backyard film. And we took it to the American capital and... Got, and convince them that uh, we were soldiers and mm, that was what can you say that was amazing mm. and uh, we just we were sort of the celebs of the of the night you know, yeah. you'd, you'd think our it was film, a nice feeling it was a really good feeling mm. and and it was uh, you'd think our film was the only one that screened yeah. that night I mean <laughs> people were just going nuts for it mm. and um, after that we um, uh, there were a few more events with the that we, that we went to and um, made some friends at the festival. So I had some connections, which is always a great thing about festivals. It's the people you meet. Yeah. And um, we came home and um, we got, uh, I think there was one more festival we got. I forget what it was, but there was another one. It was like a music and short film That's festival. That's right. Yeah. But uh, after that, I think that was, that was it. That was, it's run its course. and How many laurels? Seven? Ooh, seven, I think it was, yeah. We ended up with seven mm. laurels. Which is pretty good, and you know it was. Um, we were like, "Yep, there we go. We've had its run, and yeah. I think it's time we put that, laid it to rest." And I mean, that Washington trip was the best because we just um, got to meet all these military people, and we went to Arlington Cemetery as well. That's right. And mm. uh, that was it. That was just so worth it. There, this little film just became this incredible gift, and it. I know that. It inspired me, you know, inspired my confidence more, boosted my confidence, because um, I was having a bit of a rut with my last film, I and mean, I couldn't get into like any festivals. And then this little one came around, and then, pew! yeah, you know, I mean, we didn't get Sundance or anything like that, but we got like to me, the the icing on the cake was that was GI film festival, absolutely, because that's Sundance for the military, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and mm. that was just the best thing. 
and um, it was really good for me. You know, doing that, doing this for my friend, and and you know, it turned out really good, and he was really happy with it. That was what made me, you know, happy. And uh, I do mean that, by the way. I'm not saying that. But I was really, I was really happy that you were happy. Well, yeah. I was very happy. I mean, yeah, it's uh, for my show reel. It it worked wonders. It's it, it fit in beautifully, and um, but you also got a chance to to be a filmmaker too. That's right. That was um, a beautiful experience because now I'm. It sort of motivated me to to write more and and um, mm. collaborate with Dave for. Future pro projects. Future projects, yeah. I mean, so. we'd been talking about it for ages, but I'd just never done anything about it because no, the, uh, the right idea hadn't come along. I mean, we'd always been nattering with each yeah. other about, you know, what we're going to do and how we're going to take on the world and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it didn't kind of really come together until Sacrament. And like I said, it's just kind of the stars just kind of aligned mm. and that was, um, that just worked out and we're already working on our, you know, our next thing. And um, feature length, of course. There might be another short in there, maybe somewhere. I don't know. But you never know. We want. It, we want. We're going for feature. Yeah, absolutely. We've got to uh, yeah. raise the bar and raise the standard, and that's it. Don't and hopefully, we can come up with something real soon. Exactly. Yeah. And so that was that was great. And um, you know, I'm really proud of the fact that we that we wrote it together, and that we performed it together. And um, yeah, that was just that that was that was really good, and um, it it inspired me. I went, oh, hang on. You know, uh, we did all right. We could, we could maybe, uh, mm. maybe we could do this again because I had no idea Sacrament would have this kind of run. Yeah, it was a glorified show, real pace, and then it became an actual film. One that we'll have uh, forever. Forever. That's right. It'll mm. have a special place in my heart, and I know Roger's heart, and he's got this mm. poster up on his wall and everything. Very proud <laughs> of it, and and um, yeah, we're hoping um, there um, there'll be more of those. There will be more of those coming soon.